Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and we are still taking on the great colossal carp missions, starting with the Weeping Willow Stomach Ground Bait mission. Now, this one is, as I've said in the previous two episodes, very tough. There's a lot to do here, and we've got four more unique types of carp that we have to catch. We have to get the unique common, the unique mirror, the unique ghost, and the unique hybrid F1 carp. Now, I think I might take a break from Willow Lake, where I've been fishing for the past two episodes, and see if I can't get the unique hybrid. I do have a location where people have marked it for me. I've managed to catch them there. I have not gotten a unique from there yet, but I have gotten trophy ones. I think it's really just a matter of timing. So let's go ahead and come in here. We need to go to Golden Lake, if I remember correctly from the map. Now it is raining, if I'm not mistaken, which is a little bit different type of fishing. I know it's not a peak time, but it might be worthwhile trying it because sometimes the conditions are a little bit different with rain. Now I believe that's where they're located. It's just right below Willow Lake. And this is a spot. Red Worms is what they went after. So we need to go over this way and look for the marker. And I see it right there. I don't think... Let's see. Is there another platform over here? Yes, there is. Yeah, this is perfect. Now, I'm probably going to have to adjust my rods a little bit because these fish are not nearly as big. So we're going to need to get smaller hooks for the starters. I'd probably go with a 2 odd. That should be small enough. If it's still too big, we can go down a little bit more. Actually, I want to use carp hook on there. I don't have a 2 odd carp hook, so I guess one odds. Eh, let's try two. Let's try two. They're not big. They're not really that big. Even the uniques. Alright, let me see. I'll do a one-on on this one just to... I'll do a one-on on that one. Now let's see. The F1 Hybrid is apparently a mixture of the Crucian Carp and... I'm not really sure what the other one is. Common carp. That I didn't know. Cruci I did know it was Crucian. But yes, I have gotten trophies, but as you can see, no uniques yet. They don't have any barbels. Let's see. They do go for not only red worms, but blood worms, bread with honey, semolina balls, and dough balls. So what can we actually put on a carp rod here, guys? I'm not sure that there is anything that they go for that we can put on here. Eh, it's not looking good. Yeah, it's not looking good at all. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just throw some sweet peas on there. Let's we'll see what happens. That one we've got corn on. I think I'm going to switch that to a much smaller hook as well. Let's put a one on there. And on that one, I think we will probably... Where are the red worms? Oh, here they are. We're going to put red worms on those. Let's put blood worms on this and a smaller hook. Okay, what could we try here, guys? Just sweet corn? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to deal with here. And like I said, I don't know if the rain's going to make any difference here. Alright, let's start with the sweet peas for the beginning here. Yeah, if the carp rods don't bring anything in, I'm going to just fish for right... I'm just going to fish for regular carp. But I do know they go for blood worms. 
And I also know they go for the red worms. So we got some good a good chance of getting them off these two bait items. And then peas. I'm trying to space them out a little bit. And I do believe they're pretty easily caught off of a float rod, which I am going to use bread with honey off those. So let me switch that. We'll put a number two hook on there. We'll get bread with honey. Let's see how they do. Again, it is early morning. It may not do that well because of the the fact that it's not the peak. I don't think that really makes a difference, honestly. Ooh, wow. Must have had that set up for bottom fishing. It's really shallow here. I didn't realize it was so shallow. Okay, let's take it back down to 40. Yeah, I was fishing for carp over in Willow Lake with that, so... That's supposed to be the spot. Again, if nothing much happens, we will fast forward time to the peak and see if the thing, you know, things don't improve. Well, guys, I'm getting a bite off of this one. Let's see what we got here. Ah, European perch. And something is going for this one right here. The red worms. Trophy hybrid F1 carp, new personal record, and rain. See, either the rain made a difference, or peak does not seem to matter much. That's what they look like, guys. Interesting looking fish. It's kind of like somebody blended the common carp and the Crucian carp together, which is what they did. <laughs> Seems like they can come up with a better name than Hybrid F1. But yeah, they went for the float rod right off, right off the bat there. And the worms seem to be doing pretty good. Now, if the other two don't do well, I'm going to switch those to something carp will go for. And see if what type of carp inhabit this besides the F1s. I had just drop the I just went to the peak period through this over with some sunflower oil cake sinking pullets on a four hour car hook and started getting a bite immediately and whatever this is it is not a bad fish yeah there is a hole over there I thought I'd see what's lurking around there yeah, I was not getting any bites for quite a stretch. I thought I'd just go ahead, like I said, fast forward to the time. And I was setting out my rods and it's, I just threw this out and they got a bite almost instantly. And since we need common carp, we now know there are common carp over there. It's good to know. Well, let me mark it real quick. Well, this one I'm going to delete. But that's, I think... No, nope, it's right here. So I'm not even looking at the right spot. Huh. Interesting. So I would have thought that was over there. Let me try over this way. Then it must be much closer. Let's try over here and see if that's where the hole is.
Yeah, there's a lot more here than meets the eye, apparently. Yeah, we'll see if this does better with the peak. Yeah, I sat there quite a while. I mean, it's like I got that one and didn't get anything since that time. This is usually a pretty good spot for these guys, so... Every time I've caught them, it's been a, during the peak period. Now, I know these are shallow, but I just cannot for the life of me not believe there isn't something swimming around in the middle of those two little islands. There we go. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. There you go. Okay, this is not big though. Darn it. Could be another perch. Yeah, the European perch are out here in droves. I think I might upscale the hook just a little bit. Oops, wrong one. Let's take it to a, let's take it to a two odd. We are after all going for a unique F1 hybrid. See if we got something. It's out for the semolina balls. It's not huge, but it is, I think, an F1. Yes. Now they're finally starting to bite. Took them long enough. <laughs> Damn. I'm starting to see more and more activity though. I saw some splashing like right here. I want to do a little bit of float fishing there. See if these guys go for it. I haven't gotten any. All right, there we go. And yeah, we're starting to finally get some action here. Took them a minute or so. What do we got here? Oh, another European perch. Nice. Okay, this one's a little bigger. Young common carp. Oh, they are not going to make this easy for me, are they? Going to make it painful. He's on there this time. Oh, wow. I don't think that's a hybrid. If it is, he's a big one, but no, I think it's a grass carp. Oh, it's a ghost carp. So there are ghost carp here. Huh. I'll be damned. Where did I get him? Let me see here. Set a mark for the last fish. Well, he's practically on top of that. So there's one there and there's one there. So right that location. Interesting to know. We're gonna put that back there and we're gonna take this. I think we'll put the tiger nuts over there. Uh, 
Of course. When it rains, it pours. Okay, there's a crucian carp. So that's somebody's daddy. <laughs> and this one, I have no clue. Sunflower oil cake. Oh crap, I think we got us a mirror car, a trophy mirror car. Well, there's the mirror car, all that's left is the leather. But they're all here, I think they're all here, honestly, guys. Ooh, I'm out of sunflower oil cakes. Darn it, let's see here. Let's... Well, we could try the... Citrus pop-up boilies. If we've got... Where did I put that? Did I put it close? I think I put it right there. If we've got mirror carp, then I guarantee you we've got other carp. Okay, we might have something here. We do have something on here, so... The citrus pop-ups are usually pretty popular. I was going to use the strawberry, but I was afraid I would just get the grass carp. We're definitely getting bites off, off this hole now. Looks like I got me a grass carp anyway. Alright, I think we've got us at least a trophy off this one. Probably should have taken the hook up to about a six odd though. But yeah, this is definitely the hole. We're getting bigger fish. This guy's got a little more heft to him. Yep, he is a trophy common. We've got something finally off of these. I think it's a perch. Yeah. That's the only thing. The perch love those blood worms too. Both of them are perch. Must have been a little school went through there or something. Okay, let's see. Something's on that one. I think we got us an F1, but... No, we got us a golden tench. It's the first one I've gotten. Isn't it pretty? That is a pretty, pretty fish. I didn't think they were over here. I thought they were over to the west a little bit more. That is a beautiful fish. Love that coloration. We might actually have something this time. Let's see here. No, too small. Way too small. Boy, he is a teeny one. <laughs> he 
he's the right kind, just nowhere close to the right size. I mean, he isn't even, he isn't even a pound. Well, shucks. Let's see. We are just not getting these guys. And we are running out of our peak period here. Yeah, see, we're definitely on the downswing here, guys. But we could push it to 3 a.m. Sometimes the nighttime it makes all the difference. And we still could get a good chance of getting a unique of the other type. So we need a unique common carp. We need a unique mirror carp. And a unique ghost carp. And we are all of which are right here. The leather carp is the only one we don't need. That and the grass. I haven't seen a leather carp here, so... I'm sure they are here too. I wouldn't I couldn't imagine they wouldn't be, but I'm going to throw these out here in that hole. See if we can't pick something up here in the nighttime, which is usually one of the best times. As you can see, Almost every time. And it's a tiger pop-up boily. Ocean Horizon. This is the heavy duty carp rod that I have. Nothing else we can see what I mean? Nothing else we can get our money. That's the biggest worry I have right now is coming up a little short. Is this a leather carp? Nope, it's another mirror carp. Let's just keep at it. There's got to be. Wait a minute, let's increase our hook size first of all. Let's put that six aught carp hook on there and see if that doesn't make a difference. Okay, looks like we got something again over here. Just keep at it. <laughs> keep at it. Don't think it's any kind of unique, but that's actually fairly decent size, though. We might have us our first leather carp, yes. That accounts for all of them. All of them are here. Yeah, I'm going to recast this out since that one was drug all over creation and back. I'm not entirely convinced it didn't get my bait. Okay, here's a persistent little fellow here.
He's not too little. Yeah, as soon as I can get enough money, I am definitely getting a bigger carp rod. Okay, this one does have some inf to it, but I mean, it is the Mega Tuber, so a trophy would make it back, you know. I mean, if I had a unique, I would basically not be getting it anywhere. This is probably a trophy or a larger common. I can get the uniques in with this, it's just a lot of work. But. I think it's another leather carp or a mirror carp. It is a trophy mirror. Very nice. Not what I needed. But still nice. Is it me or does it seem like there's an awful lot of wolf howls? <laughs> I mean, it's the United Kingdom. It's not, you know, Transylvania. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, here we go again. Didn't take long. Okay, the Mega Tuber. Okay, he's coming in slowly. I think we got us another trophy, probably. I'd be happy with a small common unique. <laughs> I mean, there are variations in the sizes. Just like to knock another one off the list. Yeah, somehow I knew the hybrid was going to be a tough one to, to locate. This is a good size fish. Trophy leather. Well, I think the good thing is, I think I was able to pay off the license and the travel. Or the daily charge, or whatever they call it. It's not really a travel charge, but let me see. Oh yeah, I definitely did. Yeah, I managed to get three of the hybrid carps and one trophy. But I've got a trophy mirror, trophy ghost, trophy leather, trophy common, trophy mirror. <laughs> trophy of every variety. No uniques. Isn't that the way things work, guys? Isn't that just the way things work? Don't tease me now. Daggone it. See what I mean? You're just messing with me. Well, I tell you, I have managed to catch quite a few fish here, but I have not caught what I want to catch. This is going to be one of the toughest of the missions. There's a trophy common carp that I have yet to complete. I think once I reach five AM it's pretty much done for. Oh shoot. Four more. They, they did not make this easy, guys.
No, it's not a unique. Be a lot more of a fight. Uh, guys, I hate to say it, but I don't think we're going to get it this time. But I know you guys were probably looking for another episode. Me attempting, anyway. I think we're going to just keep at it. Going to have to fish offline. Record. And just see if I happen to catch anything. That's a grass. Trophy grass. <laughs> I swear to God, I have caught everything but a unique of anything. Yeah, when it says 10.1, you've pretty much hit the hole. Yeah, because the rest of it's around 4 feet. But yeah, I think we pretty much finished out the day, guys. Maybe one more to finalize this and see what we get here. I don't think that's what we're after. We will bring him in, see what he is. common yep all right well that's it guys i just don't think we're gonna get it this time i hope you enjoyed this episode though please be sure to share comment like and subscribe we did get uh, quite a few looks at the hybrids and we did get to see a golden tench the first time i've seen one out of here but anyway guys as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.